So I touched on it briefly earlier, but I just wanted to make a quick point about the filters pane. So at the moment, no visuals have been selected. And what we can do here is if we select a specific visual, such as the pie chart, we now can see all of the items available to us on this visual or all the filters available to us. If we now click this drop down, you can see we've got high, low and medium as our task by priority. So if I was to select low, you can see how this has now been updated to only show tasks with the priority of low. Similarly, if I only wanted to show low and medium, I could select both options. And again, it has done that in turn. If, however, we want to apply a filter to the page overall, if I just deselect that visual, you can see at the moment our filters pane has gone blank. So we've got filters on this page and filters on all pages. If, again, using our priority option as a, um, as a scenario, we can go and get priority and drag that to filters on this page. And you can now select, make a selection. So let's go to high. And you can see it's not only updated the filter on our pie chart, but it's also done the same for our other uh, visual, which is the bar chart on the left. And it's also applied that filter to our table. Likewise, we can obviously deselect that and we can now go into medium and everything else is updated as well. What we can of course do is we could add this filter if we wanted to, to the filters on all pages. At this moment in time, we only have one page, but if we were to add more pages to this report, by selecting one of these uh, options, it would be retained across all pages. And again, just gives you that ability to have more control when you're working with multiple pages. So albeit a short video and hopefully a straightforward one as well, but just wanted to cover off that filters pane in how you can simply add filters to specific visuals or filters to a single page, or of course, all pages as we've done just there. So again, worthwhile having a play around, just add them to your visuals and your pages, just play around with the different options so you can familiarize yourself with how you could potentially use filters in your report. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.